we're now um, going to walk around downtown Salt Lake City. Uh, now that we saw all the sites around Salt Lake City and the neighboring cities, uh, yeah, we're ready to walk around downtown finally. Yeah, I was so happy to have my El Pollo Loco for lunch. Um, it was really good to have uh, some grilled chicken from there. Um, Mexican food is one of my favorite types of food, so I was so excited to eat it. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, a two-piece leg and thigh and two sides only cost me um, about $8. It was pretty good. Yeah, it's a really good deal. It's not too expensive, but the food tastes great. So it's really great like on the go or if you're just craving a grilled chicken. Um, yeah, the chicken is made pretty fresh. Um, you can actually see them grilling chicken on the grill um, like 24 seven. So you don't have to worry about it not being fresh or um, not being hot. Yeah, so if you've never been, I definitely recommend to go to El Pollo Loco at least once. I'm sure you guys will really love it. is Temple Square and this is where the state of Utah's um, building is. Um, yeah it's actually it's a little gray out but it's pretty empty which is great and um, enjoy the square all to myself basically. <laughs> while we were driving in Utah um, every time we would see a state road say for like example state road 140 something um, yeah the symbol next to the state road would be of some kind of triangular object um, I wasn't sure what it was at first it looked like a triangle a hat I didn't know but now that I came to the state of Utah's Capitol building now I understand so actually those triangular shapes were beehives so yeah, if you guys have never been to Utah, every time there is a state highway um, or a state road, there is a symbol of a beehive. to the Salt Lake City Union Pacific Depot. Um, a long time ago, this is where all the trains would stop and go from Salt Lake City, um, but it actually closed down in 1986. So now if you want to uh, catch the train in Salt Lake City, you would um, have to go to the Salt Lake City Intermodal Hub. Uh, the Intermodal Hub is actually quite far from here. Um, to walk there, it does take about 15 minutes. Um, so behind the old railway station, uh, they actually built a little outdoor mall and seating area. It's actually really pretty and a nice place to go to sit and relax, have something to eat. <laughs> Walking 
walking around downtown, um, I was craving something sweet. Uh, so we stopped at Bruges Belgian Bistro. So the uh, Bruges Belgian Bistro has a uh, has a flag from Belgium. They serve savory and sweet waffles. I'm really excited to try my Belgian waffle. And they also sell uh, things like chicken tenders and fries, uh, burgers and fries. Um, yeah, because actually, fun fact, um, the Belgians made uh, the fries that we all love to eat. Those uh, skinny, normal french fries. Yeah, so I ordered a um, s'mores Belgian waffle with marshmallow, Belgian chocolate sauce, and a crunchy Biscoff cookie. Um, yeah, and it comes on top of a Belgian waffle. Yeah, I'm so excited to try it. I really do love sweets and I do love Belgian waffles. The only guys in America is doesn't exist there. Mm. Well, that was good. I am happy with my uh, with my Belgian waffle. Hot, fresh, and authentic. Bruges waffle and frites was one of the best Belgian waffles I've ever had in America. Yeah, it was really authentic. It was definitely Belgian waffles for sure. Um, yeah, the last time I had real Belgian waffles was when I was in Paris. Yeah, real Belgian waffles is actually pretty different than you guys are used to having in America. It's used to, it's very different than what I'm used to having, actually. Um, yeah, the Belgian waffles are kind of smaller. They're not actually as big as those ones that you make like in a huge uh, waffle maker in the morning. Yeah, they're small. Um, the dough has like sugar inside. Yeah, and it's really tasty. Um, it's kind of, it's fluffy in the middle and kind of crunchy on the sides. It was great. Um, I would say it is a little pricey. It did cost me about $8, but it is very authentic Belgian food. So today we are getting ready to leave the hotel. Um, we will be walking around downtown Salt Lake City some more and um, seeing some things that we haven't seen yet or that we didn't get to see yesterday. And um, in the evening, we're flying back to Orlando. Yeah, very short trip. Um, I saw three states in three days, <laughs> three and a half days. Short and crazy trip, but it was fun. Now taking the uh, Utah's public transportation today, um, yeah, actually we're going to Salt Lake Central using the train um, from the hotel. We got this little shuttle bus thing. Yeah, at the train stations, there's places to buy tickets. Um, yeah, a day pass costs $5. One way costs two fifty. So we bought a day pass. Waiting on the train now. Uh, the little bus ride wasn't too bad, actually. Except for getting a bit lost. Um, I didn't know that it was on the other side of the street. Yeah, here's a map. Uh, I'm at Sandy Civic Center. Uh, yeah, these trains actually travel pretty far. Travels all the way to the airport. Yeah, the train looks like it's coming soon. the tracks blue line now I'm headed to Clark Planetarium station um, yeah it's actually pretty empty uh, it's not too busy since most people are ready at work at 10 30 in the morning made it to downtown Salt Lake City on the blue line um, yeah, the ride was actually pretty comfortable. It took me about uh, 45 minutes from where I got the blue line to get to um, downtown. Yeah, the ride was pretty comfortable. It was smooth. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the UTA system in um, Utah. It really does go everywhere. If the train doesn't take you, um, you can get on with the bus or you can get on the other train to take you to some of the suburbs around like Provo 
Um, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with the transportation here. Um, doesn't cost too much for the day pass. So if you're um, coming here and not wanting to drive, you can definitely get around with the transportation. place called Ito Sushi in downtown Salt Lake City. Um, I've been craving Japanese food, so we found this place um, on Google. Just finished having lunch at Ito Sushi in downtown Salt Lake City. Um, yeah, so I got a uh, bento box lunch special. It had um, salmon teriyaki, gyoza, sushi, and rice and salad. Yeah, it's pretty good. You get to choose um, two items off the menu. Um, all the bento boxes include the salad and rice. Yeah, and um, it was pretty good. Um, I will say that the portions are a bit small. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a good sampler plate of things. So maybe after this would be a good idea to get some desserts. Uh, so yeah, actually, if you got the bento box lunch special, I would say um, enjoy the sampler of dishes that you get and then um, get some nice dessert from downtown Salt Lake City. We are on our flight back to Orlando now. It was a short uh, four-day trip. Uh, thank you for joining us on our trip to Denver, Salt Lake City, and visiting the state of Wyoming. Well, thanks for watching and see you guys back in Orlando.